But um hold that up. Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So we are back. My client is now fully dry. She went under the dryer for about 45 minutes. So we're just gonna take off the end papers and we are going to basically get her nicely styled, clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up in regards to the cut and then go from there. So let's get our cutting comb. And then I'm gonna get. I have such, I have favorite combs and um, where is it? None of those. Let me get my favorite. All right. So we're gonna be using our three tenths of an inch iron. And then we're also going to be using our one inch H2 Pro titanium iron as well. I'm going to bring you guys a little closer. As you guys know from the previous or part one of this video, my client does have a mild case of traction alopecia. So we use the hair that she has to mask those areas. So if you look here, but the way we masked it with her hair, you can't tell. That is the purpose. That is the goal. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the areas that need to be cleaned up, which is typically the crown. Um, I'm gonna take off the tail here because she has no need to utilize the tail. But I'm gonna do a little bit of notching because I don't want it to be a blunt line. And then same thing, we're just gonna go through and just kind of clean it up. So here, I'm okay with the blunt line, but I didn't want it right directly in her face. All right, put down for me. So we put a little bit of styling gel right at the occipital bone just to get that area to lay really nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and edge her. Okay, stop it. I guess my blade is just like, time for a new one. I'm just edging her. All right, so she's nice and edged. We did a great job with the cut, so we don't need to take anything else off. The only thing I'm gonna do is clean up some of the weight that's in this area here using my shears, just to take some of the weight out. All right, good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of our Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum, 
just about that much. A little goes a very long way. We're not gonna disturb our mold. You want to just make sure that you go in the direction that you actually molded the hair. That's why I said that that is very important whenever you are doing any type of short style. And then I'm going to use a little bit of spritz. Mix thing just a little bit. Okay, we're not using the spritz to make it hard. We're really just using the spritz to make it a lot smoother and nice and laid. All right, so we're going to use our iron here. So we're doing a down style, but right in this area, right where the head goes flat, I typically will flip it going towards the face instead of going back. So you create that dimension and you remove the flatness of the back of the head. It's kind of like creating elevation, but not changing the concept of what you're doing. See what I'm doing. And I'm not going to curl her all the way down. I usually just go about an inch away from the hairline. Some people like to use the Marcells for this. Me personally, I love this iron, so I don't even rush to my Marcells anymore. I know how to use them, but I don't rush to them. That's where we are right now. And then same thing on this side. And then on the sides, you always, I always curl or curl going towards the crown. So 
So it takes out that chance of having a line. But if your mold doesn't depict that, then you curl the way you molded it. This is why I say your mold needs to depict the style that you're going for or the end result that you want. So you guys saw me mess with the area that we're trying to conceal. All I did was put a little heat there just so it has a slight bump, but not too much. You don't want to raise that area too much. And then this side is the last side that I touch. All right, my love, so I'm gonna have you put it down for me. So even though I'm doing a down style, I am still utilizing this area that is the true crown of the head and creating some height and some movement in the style. And then I'll start going forward now. I'm kind of going forward, reverse, flip it up, reverse, go forward. And then as I get closer to the face, I'm going to go forward. I'm gonna spray a small amount of hairspray with a little bit of gloss behind it. That keeps it nice and soft, but it has a slight hold. So for these areas here, I'm gonna save to last or save that for the last. Now you can use your smaller iron and do this if you choose. I want the curl to be a bigger barrel, so I'm using my one inch. And in areas that you know you want to lay down, you want to go ahead and lay that down as you curl it.
this side. So I work side to side, if you haven't noticed. And then I always work on a diagonal that keeps the shape of the haircut. <laughs> Hold your breath when you come here. <laughs> you no longer can't be able to breathe when you come into this line. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Listen, could you be any more careful? So we're going to take our edger and clean up our hairline. I'm not giving her a line. I'm just cleaning it up. done that side and now we're going to go back to this side and finish up on this side Thing, take our edges. Clean up our line. Awesome sauce. All right. You want it hard, soft? No. Kind of hard. Yes. So we're going to spray. This is a soft hold spritz. And then we're going to follow that with some gloss. I like my hair, my clients hair to be like, like glass. No, I'm just and then we're going to use our rake. Tilt down for me. And then I like to always comb in the direction that I curled it. Okay. So just like that. All right. 
take my fingers here. And I'm basically kind of combing through what I did just to give it some movement. So that's another reason why I like to do the curl flip because it gives a lot of fullness in that area. Have a hairstyle box tomorrow. <coughs> you. Thank you. All right, y'all ready for the review? Let's see. With my mirror? Yes, not your cell phone. I mean, yes, Crystal. Yes. Don't get she me. likes to call me ma'am, and we're not even three years apart. Oh, wow. Beautiful. So this, well, it's Saturday, you think? Still should be good, right? Yeah, I probably want to make it a little harder in the top. Yes. All right. So we're going to make it just a little bit harder in the top. And I'm going to use the diffuser, so that'll keep it kind of firm so that you still will have a hairstyle and then on the sides and the back you just tie around it so I just use like the silk scarf mm -hmm. or you can use cotton okay if you sweat at night use cotton okay all right so we're going to use a diffuser which is going to diffuse the amount of air going And the diffuser just dries it really quickly, but it doesn't change the style. tell that she has anything going on in there it is all hidden how much we're gonna be happy it's your hair yes oh i love it yay let me see a sideburn this one's too long Okay, 
guys. So thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please don't also forget to thumbs up this video. We are about to be out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video.